Uh, welcome back. This is part two of the centrifugal clutch video. I have taken it out of the actual or off of the actual drive motor so you can see uh, I've just got some basic axles connected to it. And let's see. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine parts if you exclude the axles. But let's go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like inside. So give me a second. I'm doing this one handed due to the camera. Uh, being in my other hand. Uh, so, there's one side. And there's the other side. And here you go. This is pretty much the clutch. Uh, it's just this piece right here. These are the clutch shoes. You can choose your own sizes. Uh, you can even use the three pieces if you want. The three stud pieces. Uh, they work actually pretty good. Uh, I've used them. Uh, they engage a little bit funky, but they allow for better bands. Um, and let's see here. You can pull these off, and they've got just the little half stud, uh, one, and, one and a half stud uh, pieces. And that's just all it takes to connect these. Uh, I actually prefer to use the other uh, two, uh, two stud pieces. These right here, they're a little thinner and I can make my clutch a little bit more stable but uh, these bigger ones allow for it to uh, give a little bit more of a surface area to grab um, so and then you just have this right here this is an actual old piece but you can find on uh, bricklink.com uh, they used it for a lot of the older submarine uh, where the propellers would go right in here they were for the old submarine kits so you've got two of these with uh, the uh, also the stud pieces the one and a half stud pieces uh, right there, and these actually go. Let me see if I can get this back on here. Uh, these actually go on the other side to actually grip. So when you put this back together, the axle actually comes through all the way to the other side, and it uh, that way it stabilizes. And this will also grip. Um, uh, if you don't want to do it that way, you can try to find a way to get those little stud pieces into these, and that grips even better. Um, but this gives it a little bit more of a play, that way you uh, don't engage too hard. Uh, and then all you got to do is just uh, put this back together, and yeah, you just put these on opposite sides, or you can have up to four if you really uh, want some grip. Uh, it's just a little harder to work the band system in there. Just put this on, and you put it. You make sure it's like this. The axle is going to go all the way, th go through on this side too. The axles should touch, but they should never actually be connected to each other. That way, they can spin independently. And then you just put it back on here. And of course, I'm not going to show you to put it back in there, but uh, that's how it looks. I mean, it's roughly in its thinnest state, less than four studs. Uh, maybe a hair over three, but not by much. It's kind of hard to measure sometimes. Uh, and it's about four studs in width. So you're looking about four by four. Uh, considerably smaller than a lot of the clutches I've seen online. Uh, it's very hard to find centrifugal clutches especially, but um, this one is a little smaller than my previous one, and it will handle a lot more. Uh, so let's do a parts breakdown of what we have here. We have this. This is the actual bell housing. Uh, it's actually pretty sturdy. Um, if as long as you got a band in there, it'll actually grip really well. Uh, two of the, or actually, you're going to need four of these stud and a half pieces. One for uh, two for each side. Then you're going to need two of these pulley pieces. They're just uh, really cheap. Maybe I don't know three cents on BrickLink, up to ten cents I think I paid uh, when I first bought them. Uh, you're going to need two of these at minimum, and then you're going to need two of these, or two of these, in which case you're going to be changing out these half stud pieces for actual axles. They, uh, the axles actually move a little bit smoother, but uh, again the stability purpose, uh, the stability of it's not nearly as great. Or you can use these three pieces which give it a little bit more heft for the shoes to grip and a little bit more surface area, but at the same time it takes up a little more space. Um, my, like I said, my favorites, these, uh, you know, you can find them really cheap and you can buy them in bulk. A lot of sets come with these, and uh, if you use the axles, it's, a, it's smoother, uh, weighs a little less, so it's going to engage a little bit easier. Uh, 
unless you have a heavy band on there, in which case you're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, RPMs just to get these to engage, whereas with these heavier ones you can engage them pretty easily uh, with the bands even on. Uh, so as you can see, even with that XL motor, I was able to engage it to some extent. Uh, so uh, there you have it. I mean, it's very simple. Just these two pieces, put it together like that, uh, make sure they're opposing. So depending on how you want it to where if you want it to engage going this way or uh, clockwise, you would put them on that way. Or if you want it to go, if you want it to engage counterclockwise, just flip these around and there you go. And, and like as you saw, they will work in reverse. Uh, you can close them all the way. It's not as stable if the axle does not go all the way through as I've found. But um, if you're... Uh, if you're a little bit limited on space and you want to try to make it as smooth as, po as small as possible, you can kit it down to about three uh, studs in length. Uh, let me check this right here because both of these pieces, with the smaller piece right here, with everything all to put together, it will fit completely inside of this housing. Let me check how big that is. Yeah, that's less than three studs as you can see. Uh, it's actually about two and a half, maybe. No, it's about two. So yeah, right there it's two studs in length and about four in width. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, that well, actually it's about well, we'll say about four, four in length, maybe five at max. But uh, there you have it. That's the centrifugal clutch. It really is very simple. I'm not. I don't quite understand why a lot of why uh, people haven't really figured out how to do these. Um, very well anyway but uh that's it there you go uh very simple if you need more detailed explanation or if you would like me to create a uh ldraw diagram or the ldd the lego digital designer uh send me an email or message me on here and i can send you the build instructions via that uh, thank you very much have a nice day